Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Stewing 33 Plays. They are billions. My name is Stewing 33. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we, uh, we folded on the last episode, um, and I played a ton between last episode and now. Learned a lot. Um, in particular, I've learned that soldiers are not our best friend here uh, because the game actually has an audio system built into it. Um, uh, so anything anything other than the rangers actually generates noise, and that noise uh, can trigger groups of zombies to come towards you. Uh, which, in retrospect, I should have figured was a thing, but at the same time, uh, I also don't know how I was supposed to, like, parse that one together. But in particular, I've learned a lot about a lot, a lot. So we're... Oop. Already screwing up here. Uh, so in particular, we're going to focus really hard this episode on getting stable. Um, it's not as hard as I thought it was. It's still pretty difficult, mind you, but it's not as hard as I thought it was. Um, we are going to spend some time probably with these two, picking away at, like, any, like, the nearby hordes that are nearby. Uh, nearby hordes that are nearby. It's a redundant statement. Um, yeah, we're going to spend some time doing this with our rangers here. Hopefully they will manage to do that without dying horribly. While we use the rest of our units to scout. We already have pretty good choke points set up here. Out the get-go. We have to kind of avoid... There, there's big things we need to avoid, right? Big thing number one is we need to avoid accidentally allowing zombies to creep through. Um, and wipe the hell out of our base. That's bad, obviously. Um, I really wish it would let me see... 11 seems to be the best we're going to get out of that stack right there. Ah, oh, damn it. I really wish we could get access to that right away. That would be really useful. We do have some stone nearby that's within the bounds of the area that, like, we can actually use here. Um, that's not cut off by the hordes. That is a dead town. Which really isn't great. Um, yeah, so we should... We're going to focus on using rangers. We're going to get a big ranger ball going really early. I think, and I think that that's going to be our plan for how to deal with the game at the beginning here. Uh, we're going to throw a lot of resources into it, try to get our military stuff up really early, try to get that going, um, and we're going to try to secure this area down here, which means that we're going to wall off here and here, here, and here, and here. All right, that's good. We can make that happen. For now, why don't you hang out? Over here-ish. Actually, why don't you just join the death ball? And we'll just have to pay attention, basically. Yeah. Let's have her join the death ball for right now, while the rest of us deal with the coming swarms. It's really important. The most important thing that I've learned so far is that if you can't... If you can't expand quickly enough... Expand more conservatively. Which is what we're going to do. And by that, I mean we're going to try to expand quickly. So we do not have to expand conservatively. We've gotten lucky with some drops. All right. Looks like we actually do have like a small area over here that we can cut off. Which would be nice. Hopefully these rangers can manage to clip away at the horde over here without drawing too much attention to us. Would be very helpful. This area is going to get cut because of the fucking t dead town up here. We're just going to avoid provoking it. Um, Is the plan right now. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. I want to try to expand downward as quickly as possible. So that way we can get this wall set up. Get this area expanded into... All right, all right. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. We're going to cut this off here, I think. Leave the stone outside. Right, we need one more. These here. We just need more wood right now. This has the added benefit of giving us more space to work with as well. That's not what I wanted. Um, although I am going to need more food in a little bit here, but we'll get to that in a second. 
We're gonna do our best to try to, like, keep everything kind of close to the chest as well. Um, although I have learned a lot about the way the buildings work in this game. And, uh, having them be in, like, district-style areas is probably the most important thing that we could be doing. Always attack the near, uh, the highest priority target first. Um, the nearest target is important, but some of the faster ones, like, they can take a couple hits from the slower ones, but, like, yeah, like, a businessman will kill them if he gets on top of them for too long. You need to be aware of that. Let's take the let's take the walls. We can use them to cut off this area over here real early. Our forces are in danger. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Alright. You guys are good, you can stop now. You just hang out there for a little while. Actually, let's uh, have one of you hang out there. Two of you hang out there while the other ones come up here. Take a look-see. Alright. Good. Good, good, good. We're going to need to remember to also triple layer our walls. It's a critically important step here. Good. Get these areas cut off really early. The reason we want to cut them off really early is because then I can move my units around. Like, it... It'll give me warning for some of, like, the stuff, and I can stop having my units hover in one area, basically. Which is very useful. Like, I can move her over here now. Until we finish up that wall. 11. Is there a better place to put this? 11. 12's inside the forest. It's too deep. Alright, 11 it is. I was like, we might even be able to jam a third one over here. Which looks like the case. Right, we'll jam a third one over there. We'll also put some hunting lodges, obviously. 15 food's good. 14, when we get the power stuff ready and set up over there. We'll be good. Alright. Alright. We're doing well so far. Some of our critical systems are well underway here. Our next pl the next step here is to creep downward as quickly as possible. Something's damaged. Oh, there's another zombie over there. Okay. Set my arrow. Yes, I can see that. It's okay. It'll get handled. Right. Then we need another one of these. There will do. Yeah. We also need to get a quarry set up quickly. On top of... The best nearby stone posit is this one. Four stone will do. We're going to need more workers and we need more power. So actually, let's XNA that one for right now. Build a mill. Boop. Perfect. We're doing okay. I, I understand that, like, I'm sort of just playing, um, but I hope you guys can kind of see what the hell it is I'm doing, right? We're basically converting landmass into resources, right? So, big things we need to, like, pay really close attention to. We need to take over this whole area, because this will give us enough space to have a good economy going, and it's not that hard to defend all of this space. I'm a tad bit nervous about these, these two walls up here. The dead city is an issue, but if we only use rangers and ballistas for a little while, we'll be okay think. We'll have to see about that in the future here, but for now... Sixteen food there is good. Twelve. Fourteen again. Alright. 
We're trying to not use our soldier as much as possible because he generates a lot of sound when he attacks people. It only costs like one wood to repair anything at any given time, so I think we're okay from that department for now. Build it like that. Let's get a wall up. We're doing well on workers now, so we can actually build this. Another hunter's lodge. Okay, I can't jam any more wood on this thing. Okay, we're doing alright. Repair. Something can't be repaired, which means that there's a zombie nearby something. Oh, shit. Well, actually, you know what? we'll just... Play that as... Plan for the future here. This is going to be a tricky one, but we can use I, I, we can use a diamond formation for the walls to make that happen. What's up? Any infected around? Yeah, there's some down here. Need you to deal with. There's going to be a long wall. How far down can we go before we start bumping into the horde again? Okay. Okay, so like to here, basically. Got it. Oh, son of a bitch. Our defenses are being attacked. It's very difficult to draw a straight line in this game. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Also, when they knock on walls. Like when they hit the wall, actually, um, it does create noise as well, which will draw more of them to us. So that's what we're trying to avoid more than anything. But you know what you're thinking? Oh, well, why'd you put up all the walls then? Well, we also need to make sure that they don't sneak in and smash the hell out of everything while we're not paying attention. It's really easy. I get really distracted while I'm playing, so... You know, little things... Little things get you when you're not paying attention, you know? City plan as best we can here. You need to come over here. We need more people on the wall, watching the walls. That's right. Well, we're getting it done. Slowly but surely, we're getting it done. They are trying to break through. What? Yes. Attention. Building completed. What do you want now? All right, that's not great. We're experiencing some difficulties here. From all sides now. It must be generating a little bit too much noise at the moment. But we're doing alright. A-OK. -okay. There's no need to panic. Yet. Alright. I hope you guys can kind of see what the, uh, the idea here is, right? Like... Looks like we're almost secure all the way around, which is great. We really need to get this up and running as quickly as possible, though. Just like in real life, land is how you develop money. I need more food. Luckily, we've given ourselves access to a very large lake in the middle of our base here. I want the 16 more than I want the 14. We definitely need more units. 
I think is a big problem right now. We just don't have enough units to manage all the walls effectively. I don't intend to leave out of this wall, so we're just going to make this a triple thick layer of wood here. Rang it in there. Easily, easily doing fine, I think. And we need one more pile on here because it's just not quite covering this area. <laughs> Check the power grid a little bit more. Uh, we're looking okay for right now. Right, nestle that in there. Get more wood going, we'll be okay. No loving food there. Cool, those walls have all been double layered. We're hanging in there. Good, 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 good. Alright. So far, so good. You guys can kind of see, like, the town's already, like, coming together. If we intend to leave out of that gate, we'll probably end up building... We'll just build a gate eventually. No, oh, I don't want that. Just that, please. Thank you. Then we're going to build an extra layer right here. Oh, son of a bee. Son of a bee. I really got to get better about making, like, a straight line. Or I just need to be slower. I also really need to build this wall down here, actually. <laughs> you can come off of there, because we're not really getting any action from down there. It's not really critical that we have a person over there. We're getting a lot of action out of these two walls, though. Focus up. Let's get this done. All right. All right. We're hanging in there. Nothing's even happened yet, and I'm already like, wow, we're already doing, like, really good for... for ourselves. Which we actually are, to be honest. Four iron over here. Four iron, one stone. Uh, two and three is good. Some resources going. Might be even be able to build another iron one over here for three iron again. Which would be nice. We can also build one here. Not that I don't think we need more iron than what we have already. Alright. Can we build this yet? We can. Alright, awesome. Let's get this down. Pop. Thank you. Okay. They are attacking the colony defense. We also have all this water. We actually have a lot of water, plenty of food, plenty of places to put fishing villages down. Which is really good. Uh, which is gonna be nice because we don't have a lot of places to put farms at the moment. Okay. This can't come up soon enough. Right. And we also need to make sure we get the upgrade building as quickly as possible here. Well, there goes a wall. Our defenses are being attacked. 
Major issue in a little bit here, but I think we're okay for right now. They are trying to break through. Are you sure? Should come down there. Good. All right. Managed to get this stabilized, mostly. I want to see if I can jam another quarry here, but we don't have enough workers, so I need to make more of these. Okay, that's not great. And the west is actually over here, where we don't have the wall finished. I might be getting slightly ahead of myself here, but I think we're doing all right. We'll see. This is going to be the real test here, to be honest. She's a veteran. Let's take her up here. Take you down here. And the maximum number of, like, high-value units up there is possible. The extra wall layer is going to be an annoyance at worst for the, uh, the Zimbles, but... Hopefully it'll make it work. If we can survive the first wave, we'll be okay for a little while. The walls are doing their job. Providing a decent distraction here. Come on, ladies. I really didn't want to have to use our soldier, but we're going to have to throw them into the fray here a little bit because they're getting real close. Okay, we're hanging in there for now. Just trying to avoid generating too much sound, because, uh... I don't want to draw in anything from the dead city. I don't really actually know how that system, like, works super well, mind you, but... Also super overbooked on unit- or on, like, resources right now. Well, this is kind of not going... It's going upside down a little bit because of the amount of noise we generated fighting off that horde. We are mostly okay. Mostly. Trying to break 
break through. All right, here's what we need. Might have poked the bear a little bit there, but it's working out fine. Alright, let's go ahead and get this warehouse up and running. Over here. I want to make sure it hits the maximum number of, like, resource buildings possible. So you can see this aura around the building. It actually increases the, pro the productivity of all the buildings in the area. And I know I cut off this area over here, but they can go around still, which is probably not great. But, you know, it's better than... Yeah, that'll work out well. Can I really not build that there? Well, I guess we'll let that finish. Is the gate better than... Gate's got 600, wall unit has 400. <laughs> might be better to just build the whole thing out of gates at some point, but... That might be prohibitively expensive at a certain point. Alright, what do we need? Well, we obviously need to put more food down. As we were at a negative deficit. <laughs> And we need another Huntsman Cottage over here. 13's pretty good. 11, 10, 10, 10, 11. 11 it is. All right. We're hanging in there. We managed to survive the first wave, which I think is by itself already pretty good. We've managed to stabilize, which I think is... Also pretty good. Um, we need to do a better job of converting our land into gold, I think. Building completed. In general. Building more worker tents and all that. It's pretty critical to our success here in the long run. Alright. I'm feeling pretty good about that. We are going to need to make some room for the woodwork shop when we get enough workers put together. It should be right now. Alright, cool. Well, we found a place to plop that down. Um, and I think with that, we're going to call it quits for this episode. We've managed to stabilize here. There's a lot of walls, um, which I normally don't like to do, um, like at all, but we'll have to live with it for now. But thank you all so much for watching. If you guys like what you saw, let me know. If you guys want to see more, don't subscribe to keep up to date on when I post more videos. And if you really like what you saw, leave a like. Helps the channel grow. Helps me out a great deal. But of course, with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!